Third, everything that I've heard about developmental education tonight is absolutely on mark. We can't just have a single cut score. We can't possibly ask people to go through 15 uh, uh, weeks of coursework for two years to get college ready. They're not, y'all not gonna finish. You can quit. You're gonna be bored, you're gonna be mad, you're not gonna stay. So how can we find tools that promote developmental education in a way that do three things simultaneously? Tell you where you are, give you a real diagnostic, intervene with a set of educational experiences that can get you to where you need to be, right? and finally, assure that through the final assessment. Now, I'm a, I've just come back from a college board uh, event over in New York. Uh, Larry and I actually are on a panel together there that we give some advice to the college board. And they've been listening <laughs> for the last several years. We've been talking to them about the fact that the Accuplacer by itself isn't really very helpful. So they've developed a new tool, and we're going to see if it works. They've, they're piloting it now that literally engages students where they are, gives them online intervention, and allows us to align some of the interventions directly with whatever standards that we've set. In my, in my hope, it'll replace what we now know as remedial education in most of our colleges. And most of it will be done early, in the junior, senior year. See, that's the thing about catch-up, speed-up. If you're not ready for early college credit, then why sit in the senior year not knowing where you are with some intervention to get you where you need to be? Right now in my home district, we're teaching 20 sections of developmental algebra to high school seniors. We call it developmental algebra because what it really is is algebra two. High school algebra two. It is the algebra two course that they need to master to get to our cut score. Why should they have to wait till their freshman year at Harper College to take that course? They didn't take it. Y'all didn't take it. Because you didn't have much college background and nobody could really say to you, you know, it's really a good idea, Joanne, to go through as much math as you can get, even if they don't require it in your senior year. Because you need to be post-secondary ready. Catch up, speed up. Finally, what's been introduced tonight is common core standards. This is not just a New Jersey thing, this is a national deal. It's got the endorsement of the National Government Association, it's got the endorsement of the SHIELDS, the folks who lead the state uh, education officers in our country. They're, at the end of the day, we really, and I know Pete knows this, can't align curriculum unless we have some common standard across the playing field in America. We just can't do it. So while we can do individual statewide and countywide projects, and we all are working at it, it also has to be supported by some sort of national alignment. And that has to be sort of supported, the other last thing you should insist on, trustees, is a statewide database to show you what the heck is happening. To link all the data points so that we really can track what happens in Mrs. Jones' kindergarten grade to Dr. Messina's developmental math course? Where was the leakage? Where was the problems? How, how, that way we focus. Without a common database, we can't get there from here. So five things. The partnership, the alliances, catch up, speed up, developmental education, make sure we work on common core standards with a common database so that we can see where we're, we're going. <coughs> this won't mean nothing unless you know what your number is. Here's where it gets nasty. This is where it gets to be, hmm, do I really want to play in this space or not? We need five million new credential <coughs> certificate holders, associate degree folks by, to, by 2020. That's how many we need. Can anyone in the room do five million? I mean, when you think about five million, when I think about five million, I put my head on the covers and I say, I, don't want, I can't play there. 
Then I asked myself, well, what could I play with? And we asked that question at our institution about two years ago, and we said, what's our number? What does that mean? They asked. Well, I said, well, if there's five million that we need, proportionally, if we were to stay on the same graduation rates that we're on, what proportion would we need to increase in our state, Harper College, to get to 20, 20, 5 million? For us, it's 10,604. Now, we currently do 2,200 graduates at our institution a year. That's what we walked in the door with. And we said, you know, if we're going to change the trajectory of this nation, our contribution to 5 million is 10,604. And I can guarantee you, ladies and gentlemen, you walk on William Rennie Harper College campus today and you ask a custodian, you ask a student senate leader, you ask any faculty member, you go to a board member, or you go to the classified staff and you say, folks, y'all got this number, what is it? And they'll say, 10,604. Some of them won't know why they even know it. But we beat it into them. We absolutely have insisted, if you're not part of knowing that 10,604 is important to you, then you're working in the wrong institution. Because we're about making a difference in our community, not about doing same old, same old. The hardest part of the student success agenda, I would submit, the hardest part, is agreeing to take our fair share of the number. And we know it's not about the number, really. It's about what happens if we don't make the numbers. It's about what the United States of America will look like if we don't figure out a way to break this cycle of that third and this third. Because this third just can't do it. In the old economy, it didn't matter about you guys. I mean, it mattered. We like y'all. You're good people. But we didn't have to worry about you because you were going to be able to make your contribution to America because there were jobs that fit you pretty exactly. You all could make your contributions. We would be as well off as always, maybe even get a little better. But that's not the world we live in today. That's no longer the case, folks. So I beg you, know your number. And know it's going to be a tough number to look at. I can tell you, I do not know how we're going to get to 10,604 at William Rainey Harper College. But I can tell you, if you look at that little white piece of paper that we had in your folders, we have a plan to get there. It's focused on four directions and nine goals. It's focused on partnerships with our K through 12 community. It's focused on leveraging the resources of our local business people. <coughs> and we think together as a community, we can make that number. Right now, at our place, thankfully, we're ahead of schedule because it gets really tough up at the end. You know, right now we're 840 completers above where we needed to be in our first projections this time against 2020. That's comforting to me and to my board, but a lot of the hard work is still in front of us. Let me finish by just saying a couple more things about this. Uh, Kathy and I were very uh, lucky. Um, we were invited to a dinner party uh, about, I don't know, uh, two months ago. And Colin Powell was in that party. And the general was there uh, as a special guest, of course. And after dinner, there was about 35 of us there. He was asked if he would make a few remarks. And he, he did. And he left me um, with new thoughts about my mission and my purpose. And I think 
what he said really makes sense for this group tonight. You know, every one of us in this room has made it. You may not feel like it some months when you pay the bills. What Ron didn't add is I've also got a Sean at home and a Claudia at home. Sean's 18 months, Claudia's 25. It adds to the monthly burden when we pay the bills. Some days we feel like we got it made and other days we don't. But trust me, compared to this third, I've got it made. And this third, I'm doing pretty darn good. You guys are hard to compete with. Everybody in this room has made it. You have lived literally the American dream, or you're on your way. This is not about us. The message about completion is not about us. It's about finding a way to put our country back on the right path again. See, our mission is student success and completion. No question about that. None whatsoever. Our purpose, the community college purpose today, in my view, save the United States of America. At least the country we've known, we've been blessed enough to live in. That's our purpose. That's the purpose that, when I say that our folks at William Rainey Harper know that number, they know it's attached to something really important. I was with a trustee from, uh, a uh, chancellor from California who said to me the other day, I can do anything I want to do because I'm too damn old for anybody to, for me to care if they fire me. Thankfully, I'm not too damn old. But I absolutely know this mission is the mission that if my board is not behind me, can get me fired. And it's not gonna. And that's not even to say that we'll make it 100%. But if we make 8,203 additional, not bad. You gotta know your number, is what I'm saying. I really respect this group. I cannot tell you. Distance is a good thing for context. This group of presidents and trustees, this system that we have, loosely coupled and very occasionally autonomous, but at the end of the day, I always kind of falls in the right place because of good leadership, paying attention. This is one of the best groups I know of in America. I, I regret many days I'm not a part of you because you're that good. You could do something really special as a state. You could have a number, and you can show the rest of the country how to get there. I absolutely think our country needs your leadership. That's why I accepted coming back to a crowd that I just really didn't want to give this speech to. But then when I thought about it, I said, these are my family. If I can't say what I have on my mind to them, I can't say it to anybody. So I wish you well. I know it starts with having a number. I know it goes from there to having a plan. I know it's connected to an agenda much bigger than any of us in the room. But if we can get there together, we will have done our thing to be a part of saving this country.